Let's take a look at diodes during on my solar power system. Now, the reason why I'm, I'm doing this with these diodes is that I have different batteries. This one happens to be a, a, a flooded lead acid battery, and these are glass mat batteries. And this is 100 amp hour batteries. These are 35 amp hour batteries. Now, it's fine to put these, these batteries in parallel because they're all the same, same age, same uh, amp hour, same chemistry. But you can't just add another uh, battery of different chemistry and different amp hours to this uh, in parallel with these uh, to run your, your inverter there. Uh, it's just not going to work right. So in order to use different, different batteries, of different chemistry, uh, in fact, I have one more of these units set up. I haven't shown it here, but there's three of them. So I can have, uh, you know, I have another battery that's a 200 amp hour battery, like a big heavy marine battery. And I'm running that too through another set of uh, uh, diodes here, okay? Now, what these diodes do is if this voltage on this battery happens to be uh, higher than the voltage on these sets of batteries, the voltage is going to come through here and it's going to backfeed these diodes. It's going to put a reverse bias on them and no current's going to flow through this set of diodes out of these. Until this, this drop, the voltage on this battery drops, and this voltage becomes higher, and then it reverse bias this set, and then the, the current goes through here. So at any one time, you're only taking current off of one set of the batteries, okay? So that's how these, these diodes are going to work. Now, what I did is I, I just bought these emergency power starter clips, okay? And they come with the diodes in them, and with this uh, uh, e, uh, EC5 connector on it, which is good for 120 amps, and you know some wires and they're fairly cheap they're four bucks and they're say three bucks to ship it and they're um here's the unit over here so you know they're all soldered on here for you with the leads and everything now these these are number 10 wire copper wire and they're rated at uh, 200 uh, degrees centigrade so in open air they're good for about uh, 50 amps now if you use number 10 in your in a household wiring, it's only good for 30 amps. But these are uh, high temperature and they're in free air, so they're rated about 50 amps. Now, these diodes, they're Schottky diodes. So here they are here. STBS 2045. And they have very small conduction losses, so the, uh, the voltage drop is very small and the regular diodes is about 0.6 these if we put the uh, uh, <coughs> the meter on there it comes out to about uh, you know 0.18 volt drop but as the current increases and it, it it can go up and they have extremely fast switching speeds which we'll we'll demonstrate that later so these are the these diodes uh, you know they come in a package like this I got four of them on there if you buy them separate they're I don't know about a dollar fifty each or something, and then you'd have to, uh, you know, mount them on uh, on something. And uh, so this just seems to work out pretty good. And uh, now I'm running these uh, each diode. There's two diodes in each package, and each diode is good for 10 amps, so a total of 80 amps through here. And the inrush current on these is good for 180 amps, and that's why they can use these to start a car. But you're only you know going to start the car for you know five six seconds or so so we can't run a total of 80 amps through here all the time because you know it doesn't have much of a heat sink on here so what i'm doing is i'm running this uh, thousand watt uh, inverter now thousand watt i have it fused at eight amps and at eight amps at 120 volts it's going to be uh, 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 960 watts so it, it, that'll protect the the uh, the unit here but at you know a thousand watts that's going to draw 80 that's eight amps here but on this side it's going to draw 80 amps through there and that's just uh, going to be too much to 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 drum through here at constantly uh, without adding extra heat sinks or anything so what i do is i limit it to about 500 watts total so i don't want to go over 40 amps on these you know so i do have 80 amp uh, fuses here i wrote in here but i've changed those to uh, 40 amps so that i don't uh, uh, put any more current through these and uh, otherwise they'll, they'll just get too hot so here it is over here and it's got the the, the four four uh, eight diodes in there and good for 80 amps but I'm only running it at half of that 
to, uh, and this inverter has been working for about four years, and that's because I've only uh, run it at half the wattage, you know, 500 watts max on that inverter, and uh, so it's still it's been running solid for for four years, and no problem at all. And it's got a fan in it; a fan hardly ever comes on. So, these are the diodes I'm using, and they're. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'll build this up and show you how it actually physically works. All right, we've got it set up. Now, this uh, this meter here is, is 13.56 volts, and this is the current going through. Uh, these two are tied together, and the current here is going to one set of diodes. And on this one here, I'm using this volt uh, meter over here, and that's at, at 13.7 volts, and this is the current. And it's just going out to my, my light, you know, 420 milliamps uh, going out to, to light that light up. So uh, the voltage here is, is higher than, than over here. So I'm getting current through the one set of diodes and nothing through the other set over here. Now, if I ramp this one up to 14.7 uh, or whatever, I can even drop that down a bit. Then I have all my uh, current running through this set of diodes. And, and nothing over on this set over here. So as these batteries go up and down, fluctuate, I'm gonna, it's gonna switch back and forth between the, the loads uh, you know, automatically. Now, if I take this one down and make the voltage the same on both of these, if I can get that, that's about as close as I can get it there. So. Now I've got you know 200 milliamps here and 240 milliamps over here, and the voltage is is fairly close. You know these meters aren't aren't that accurate, but uh, so I've got the voltage fairly close on there, and uh, it's not sharing the load between them. It's actually switching back and forth. Okay, so uh, you know half the time it's on, on one set, half the time it's on the other set, but they're actually switching back and forth. Now these things, uh, you know. It, in the specs here it says extremely fast switching and these things they they switch down into the uh, you know the uh, picosecond range with the picoseconds a trillionth of a second and these are these shaggy dials are probably at uh, 100 to 200 picoseconds of switching speed on them so you know you won't even be able to see that on on any scope that i have but uh, they're just switching back and forth and it shares the load that way but as soon as the uh, voltage on one of them raises up then the one unit's going to share it all the time, you know. But if the voltages are real close together, then they it'll they can share the load by switching back and forth real fast. But uh, that's that's all there is to it. Um, you know, the thing works. I just uh, I mean these are rated 80 amps, but if you can't use 80 on there unless you want to put a bigger heat sink on there. And uh, but at 40, they seem to they, they seem to be pretty good. And uh, you know, I don't run the 40 amps all the time on them so um, it's working out I have I use this for my uh, a TV set uh, charge my laptop and cell phones and my workbench uh, for my scope and uh, different things like that so not much load but uh, these things uh, seem to work and it, they come in a nice package and they're easy to use so uh, that's what I've been doing I've had this one hooked up uh, for about uh, three years now and it seems to be working fine. Just don't exceed the, uh, don't don't try to run them at 80 amps. They'll just get too hot and probably melt the plastic out here. So anyway, that's, uh, that's the diode switching on my uh, solar panel thing.